If you're tweaking your resumes a dozen times only to get rejected or no responses at all from recruiters, you are not alone. I was on the moon when I finally got my first interview for a data analyst position years ago. And I know how painful it is to write resumes and cover letters for job applications. But the good news is, AI can help you with this and help you land an interview faster. A recent survey shows that 7 in 10 job seekers report higher response rates when using ChatGPT for writing applications. A good resume may not get you a job, but a bad one will ensure you don't even get the first round interview. So in this video, I'm going to share with you some useful tips and tricks to use ChatGPT and AI tools for building an awesome resume and cover letter for your next data science job application. This video is sponsored by Beamjobs, a free resume builder that helps you craft the perfect resume and cover letter in minutes. Without further ado, let's get started. When you have a job role you want to apply to and you want to tailor your resume according to this role, ChatGPT is a great tool to help you tailor your resume to a job role. The process generally looks like this. Firstly, we'll ask ChatGPT to analyze the job description and find the top responsibilities for this job role. Secondly, given these responsibilities, we let ChatGPT tailor the content of your resume accordingly. And here, if we prompt correctly, ChatGPT should be able to take care of the details, for example, using the right keywords that speak to the audience and taking into account the order in which it should mention your skills and expertise. In the third step, you may want to further refine the bullet points in your work experience if necessary. This can make it more concrete and convincing to the reader. ChatGPT can help you with all these three steps. And next, all we need to do is to put our resume into a nice design. And finally, look at your resume holistically and make some final adjustments. I'll show you how to automate these two steps with Beamjobs, which uses AI to help you design and optimize every aspect of your resume. We get into that in a bit. Okay, let me walk you through these steps with an example. Suppose you're applying for this senior data analyst position at justeattakeaway.com, we'll go to ChatGPT and as a first step, we'll say, you're an expert at a recruitment agency working with job seekers in data science and tech fields. From the job description below, highlight the top three important responsibilities. And then we'll paste the whole job description in here. Okay, now that we have the three most important responsibilities, the next thing we want to do is to ask ChatGPT to tailor the content of our resume. I have my most updated resume here on my LinkedIn, so I can just save it to the PDF and then we should be able to download all the text from our resume. So here's my resume with all the details and I'll go back to ChatGPT and ask, good, based on these most important responsibilities from the job description, please tailor my resume for this senior data analyst position at justeattakeaway.com. Please do not make information up and this is important. Here's my resume and I'll just go ahead and paste my resume over here. And you can see that ChatGPT kind of tried to adapt my resume to fit the responsibilities of this job role. For example, it mentioned enabled data-driven decision-making. It mentioned the culture of data-driven insights. It also mentioned data integrity and success metrics. So this is a pretty good start and I don't think that I would have done a much better job than this. But just to be sure, we should always check if all the information here is indeed correct and that ChatGPT didn't make up anything. Let's go ahead and refine some of the bullet points in our working experience to make it more concrete and more impactful. So let's go back to our chat and I'll say, I have this bullet point in my resume, rewrite this bullet point using this structure. I accomplished X by the measure Y that resulted in Z. Limit the bullet point to under 50 words. I'll try this bullet point. Paste it here. I do see the improvement here for this bullet point, but I still want to make this a little bit more measurable. So what we can do is to ask to make some suggestions. Please give me suggestions on how to make this bullet point more measurable. And we can see some suggestions here that we can use. So using ChatGPT, you can get some pretty good ideas on how to turn all these vague generic bullet points you have in your resume into really concrete and impactful and convincing work experience. After you're done tailoring 
preparing the content of your resume, as a final step, we go ahead and design our resume. A design tool like Canva could be a good option with tons of nice templates, but it doesn't give you any feedback or assessment on your resume. So let me show you how to use Beam Jobs to automate this process. Okay, let's go to beamjobs.com and you can see that we have the option to either create resumes or cover letters. If we click on the resume builder, we go to the resume builder page. And on this page, you can find a bunch of templates to get you started. Feel free to use any of them and you can always change it later. I find this minimalist template pretty nice, so I'll choose this template. And here you can choose how you would like to start. So you might want to choose an industry example or you might want to upload an existing resume if you already have one or you can import your LinkedIn profile with your LinkedIn uh, profile link or you can just start with a blank document. As we already have the existing resume that we just tailored, I'll choose upload an existing resume and let's upload our resume here. What will happen is that Beam Jobs will be automatically parsing all the information from your current resume and put it in the respective sections on the template. You can easily edit these sections. So for example, I can add a new group and then add my skills over here. And similarly, you can also add a new work experience or education. You can move this up and down with this arrow and you can also turn on or turn off a certain element in your job role without wasting time having to adjust the layout. A cool thing is that you can also see a score that you get for your resume. So this would indicate how ready your resume is. If we click on the improvements button, you can see that we have a couple of checks here regarding the communication and the structure of our resume. So Beam Jobs has a lot of checks built in to help you objectively look at your resume and see what you can improve. For example, we got some minus points here regarding quantify your impacts. So if I click on it, you can see all the bullet points that are missing metrics at the moment. And if you want, you can go ahead and edit them. After that, you can recalculate this score and see if you're happy with it. This is really useful because sometimes you may not even realize that your bullet points are way too generic. And other checks that Beam Jobs also automatically do for you is, for example, filler words or the structure of the resume and the consistency. You can work on these improvements and after you're done working on these improvements, you can go ahead and download the resume as PDF. For this, you do need to sign up with your email, but it's totally free. If you need some inspirations for your data science resume, you can go to the example sections over here and if you scroll down you can find a lot of data analyst and data science resume that you can take inspiration from. What's also really cool is that Beam Jobs can also help you write your cover letter given the resume you just created and the job description. So overall I find this a super useful tool. I use it to create my own resume in just under 10 minutes. If you want to give Beam Jobs a try, check out the link in the description below. All right, moving on to cover letters. There's a lot to talk about. In this section of the video, we'll be talking about why a good cover letter is important, common mistakes when writing cover letters, and the secret to make yours truly stand out from the rest. Unlike resumes that only state facts like your education and work experience, a good cover a letter gives you a personality. It evokes emotions and tells the reader why you should be chosen for this job. With cover letters, you can show your motivation and energy. There are some very common mistakes you want to avoid when writing cover letters. The first one is repeating your work experience. Too often, candidates start with, Hi, my name is Sarah. I currently work here and I'm writing to apply for this position. This makes for a boring and totally redundant introduction because the recruiter already knew all this from your online application and resume. The second mistake is only talking about me, me, and me. It doesn't connect to the reader. And the third mistake is being too generic, being too boring. To write a good and interesting cover letter, you've got to be thoughtful. And this can be quite daunting and time consuming if you're applying for a lot of jobs. ChatGPT can of course write a whole cover letter for you, but I don't recommend doing the bare minimum and just copy paste any suggestions from ChatGPT. If you're at all serious about the job, I'd highly recommend personalize at least the first one or two paragraphs of your cover letter. And there's a reason for this. The most successful cover letters start with an interesting hook 
that sparks curiosity and connection with the reader. Human attention span is limited. You only have 10 seconds to make the first impression, good or bad. This also holds true for when you first meet someone or when you're watching a YouTube video on the internet and of course when you read someone's cover letter. The first 10 seconds matter, so the hook in your cover letter will either keep people reading or stop them right there. So how do we write a strong hook? Let's turn to ChatGPT for this. Let me demonstrate how you can use ChatGPT to write a full cover letter with the structure hook, intro, body, and ending. I'll use my own job position for this demonstration. You're currently working as a data science consultant at BWC, and you are applying for this senior data analyst position at JustEatTakeaway.com. Write an attention-grabbing hook for your cover letter that highlights your qualifications and experience and skills in a way that shows you can successfully address the challenges and the responsibilities of this new role. Here is your resume. I'll paste my resume over here and here's the job description. I'll paste my job description. Take a look at the hook and see if you are happy with it. If you're not happy, you can of course regenerate this hook and once you're happy with it, you can ask ChatGPT to continue writing the following paragraphs. So first expand on the hook and explain why you want to work at JustEatTakeaway.com and highlight your relevant achievements and work experience that tie into the responsibilities of this role. And finally, thank the reader for his or her time, re-emphasize your interest in this role and why you are a good fit. So this process will make sure that you have an interesting cover letter that grabs the attention of the reader. I also want to mention some final tips. AI is very helpful, but it can also work against you. As automated application screening is being used more widely especially in large companies, you don't want any unnecessary details that may negatively impact your applications. Yes, biases in machine learning models exist, so remove any unnecessary details like your picture, your marital status, your high school and primary education if you have attended college, your date of birth, your religion, and any irrelevant work experience. And as more people are using AI to write their perfect applications, people will start looking for intrinsically human qualities, things like humor, personal hobbies, or fun facts. If I were to apply for the senior data analyst position at Just Eat Takeaway, I'll probably add some fun fact section to my resume. I do like eating, I do like food, and again, we can also get help from ChatGPT for this. Companies around the world are laying off, and this may be one of the hardest times to find a job, but there's always a blessing in disguise, because this may also be the easiest time to get a job with a AI tools like ChatGPT and Beam Jobs. So with this video, I hope to give you some useful ideas for how to use these tools for your advantage. If you want to learn more data science content, feel free to check out other videos on my channel. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.